Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So everyone uh, might be studying or not everyone but few may be working or few may be working in an office or uh, people may be living in a building. So uh, at some time you may be uh, encountered like uh, some buildings have switches, routers, gateways, bridges and many network adapters which are then connected over a wire and then it's being transmitted from one building to another building and it's such a large wire and it's a big hassle. So uh, you have this uh, major peripheral devices like you have scanners, printers, workstation, dock station, USB hubs, servers and most in organization uh, all these things are very common and uh, how they are connected uh, they are connected by means of local area networks which are local to that particular organization or to that particular place uh, now what happens is that in order to provide the facility or in order to uh, reach their uh, extension uh, you require additional cabling additional cost and additional time and manpower is required in that so that becomes a great challenge like uh, every day they will have to uh, come and do the drilling and put the wire and then we have to add more devices if tomorrow even more devices or resources comes then that's a big kind of hassle which is cost to the user so in order to overcome that watch today's video to understand what is wireless local area network which is an addition to the LAN that is you have the WLAN that is which is wireless so whatever devices you add to this system it becomes wireless so let's see what is WLAN so WLAN is a wireless computer network connecting two or more devices using a wireless distribution method some distribution method will be there which is wireless uh, within a limited area such as a school or office building so anywhere you can set up a, a, a WLAN that is wireless local area network and it can be within a school office building or college or some other places now it provides with mobility within a particular coverage area this WLAN or uh, LAN especially basically has a particular kind of coverage within a certain few kilometers with WLAN you can just improve that kilometer uh, since it's being wireless and it can just pass through all mediums. Now there are two popular standardizing organizations which provide this uh, that is WLAN that are uh, IEEE that is International Electronic and Electrical Engineers and ETSI that is European Telecommunication Standards Interfaces. So uh, since these two are the prime major organizations which revolves around WLAN, it has got its own standard. So first standard that is by IEEE is IEEE 802.11 which provides 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz bands for its users for uh, providing all WLAN uh, equipments and for making it operational. Now ETSI has got HyperLAN, Type 1 and Type 2 HyperLAN, both are there for only 5 gigahertz. Uh, frequency band so whatever devices you just configure into ETSI uh, it will be uh, providing you with 5 gigahertz band only now uh, you have some of the major applications uh, WLAN has got so first and foremost it is used for LAN extension with cabling and uh, wiring and drilling and putting holes and uh, drilling nails and it becomes a very kind of challenging issue and so for that you have this LAN extension which is the prime major uh, advantage or application which is used by uh, or given by WLAN next cross building interconnect what is meant by cross building so if there is uh, two buildings or if there are two buildings or uh, among uh, different kind of buildings and if one building has got the particular uh, LAN connectivity and if other building or the other buildings which are near to it or neighboring buildings does not have that LAN connectivity what basically in traditional LAN uh, is done is uh, you just put a junction box in between and you will just share the data or the bandwidth which is there uh, between this uh, building 1 to building 2. So uh, majorly in order to uh, deteriorate the data loss or in order to tackle that thing you have this cross building interconnect which is provided by the WLAN. Next we have ad hoc networking. Ad hoc networking is something like in uh, kind of news channels and uh, cable TV network operators you basically have this radio dish so with that radio dish they can easily uh, do the networking so it's like used for accessing certain terminal or workstations uh, which they are away from their home and if they want to access it from their home uh, and if that setup is at office they can easily take the remote access and uh, can begin with their activities so that's basically ad hoc networking is so that's basically possible with WLAN and with some uh, VPN connections uh, that we'll see what are this in this 
next we have the nomadic axis nomadic axis means on the go axis and it is done with the help of antennas you all will be having this otg cable which is used for file transfers so uh, this nomadic axis basically is just the otg but uh, you have certain antennas so for an example to take you have the tv news channel truck so uh, this basically truck comes with a radio dish and with that radio dish when they want to enhance their storage area network science or network area storage nas what they basically has this uh, radio network or radio dish they has and inside that truck they do the configurations and all the activities and they provide the access so that kind of access is called as nomadic access next uh, we have got certain features let's see what are the ba uh, basic features of this wlan so first and foremost is flexibility and you can easy to add more devices into it since it's wireless you can add any number of devices with their mac address and ip address that addition and deletion becomes possible and there is possibility of temporary network configuration if a network configuration is done for a fixed amount of time later time it can be uh, just deconfigured and you can reassemble and disassemble uh, that particular kind of configuration obviously in that configuration many different kinds of devices would be there uh, like you have different peripherals you have switches gateways network adapters bridges and etc so uh, that can be configured easily within wlan then you have the robustness to external conditions uh, that means it's not affected easily by any natural calamities if there is a flood or if there are some earthquakes and if you have the normal WLAN what basically it has it has got optical fibers wires and cables so it will get destroyed in that natural calamity with WLAN that's not possible since it's uh, no wires are there then you have the increased mobility and collaboration users can move around the environment without losing any connection so it's basically the frequency reuse or you just move from one base station to another base station without losing your connection with wired that's not possible you just have to carry that wire all the uh, around uh, around the house and all so it's like the earlier uh, cordless telephone or cd to telephone which you used to roam around the house and uh, do the conversation that was inside the home but if uh, if you want to move outside the home with that CD2 uh, system, that's not possible. With mobile phones and smartphones, it's possible. Next, we have the enhanced guest access. Uh, it allows guest users, that is customers or other business partners, for secure access over the internet. So, whenever any business partners or any guest uh, who comes from outside and if they want to access their internet or any facility or uh, want to integrate their systems, uh, with their legal permission they can easily do with the help of uh, wireless uh, LAN and with a traditional uh, normal LAN what happens is you just have to plug that uh, wire and just cable it and do all the configurations so that becomes a very tedious activity now so far we have been praising about this WLAN it has got some disadvantages as well so let's see uh, the transmission uh, rate or quality is very low as compared to the wired system obviously if it is wireless it will be obstructed or uh, there will be certain objects through which it will be passing so the transmission quality here is low uh, then increased wireless equipment cost so in order to uh, make the WLAN a success you need to have various WLAN equipment so it will be like wireless network adapter wireless mouse or wireless printers wireless scanners we have wireless gateways wireless uh, bridges and all that will be seen uh, in our future videos so uh, that basically that device if you want to purchase it's uh, very costly as compared to the normal which is non wired wireless devices so uh, that's a great challenge in this and it's less safety and security is very low although we have uh, told like uh, enhanced guest users but uh, due to interception and man the middle attacks it becomes more prone uh, to get this access and just uh, can uh, do the man the middle activity and can uh, do the various kind of hacking and all those things are possible in this so that's why it's uh, less secure and safety is not up to the mark as compared to the wired system so well that was all regarding the introduction to the wlan that is wireless local air networks in wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated watching this video please do like share comment if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video